Hi everyone, this is Mr. Neil Reiter here, consultant audiologist and director of Cluex. Thank you for joining me in another demonstration video of our recently developed wax goat, which we're hoping to launch in early December 2022. Um, if you are interested, please do email um, info at clearwax.co.uk and we can add you to our mailing list. We have a patient here who attended with a severe bilateral earwax impaction and just commencing with this, their right ear, which is the worst one out of the two. And I'm using our 4.25 millimeter speculi to help dilate and straighten the ear canal. We have a smaller size for uh, much narrower ears or pediatric ears, which is a 3.5 millimeter speculum. And we've got two larger sizes, a five millimeter and a 5.75. And the wax is really, really stubborn in this ear. It's a huge piece of wax. If you watch till the end, or if you've seen the thumbnail, you'll just see how big it is. And it's matted with hairs, you can see that. So I've just instilled some olive oil ear spray and um, the ear spray helps to um, bind the wax together so you get a better suction grip. In addition, it lubricates the ear canal wall, which facilitates the, the removal of the wax. And in addition, it helps to lubricate the inside of the suction tube. So it just minimizes any potential blockages with wax traveling up. However, in this year, eventually I'm going to have to use uh, both an ear hook and a Jobson horn to extract it. They have got quite a narrow ear canal. You can probably see that on, on, on the view. Um, it's quite a, a prominent V, a valley shape there. So um, again, I'm just dilating the ear canal. I'm just going more superiorly to the roof. I'm inserting the, the, the St. Bart's ear hook and I'm trying to dissect through. And unfortunately with the ear hook, it just dissected through the wax like a hot knife through butter. So I'm gonna use and revert to a jobs and horn. We know this wax has been there for a while. You can tell by the color, it's dark, it's oxidized. Uh, the patient has been suffering for a while, but it's one of those things that they, they felt they were managing with and they put it off until uh, a few days ago. It became really hard to hear and quite uncomfortable for them. So even with the Jobson horn, uh, which has a greater surface area, it's not fully removing the wax. It is still breaking through the wax uh, as opposed to extracting it. So I'm just going back in for a moment with uh, the Zollner suction probe, so back to micro suction, and I'm really gonna try to tease this out. You can see I'm wriggling it backwards and forwards, left to right. I think I'm gonna go back to the posterior canal wall, so the back part of the ear canal, where we are now, I'm gonna try and detach this from side walls there's a bit of keratin there that's acting like double-sided sticky tape so I'm just remove that I think I'm going to go superiorly again to the roof to see if I can bring the wax plug down there we are so what are the benefits of the wax scope what was the reason behind the development of the wax scope uh, many years ago we developed the iClear scope which is a an endoscope and we still are um, uh, manufacturing and supplying that and it's in terms of the eye clear scope, I, I really um, don't think there's anything better to remove earwax than an endoscope, and in particular the eye clear scope, which has been specifically designed in terms of the optics, the diameter, the working length for the intended use of earwax removal. And we've been running training courses using the, the endoscope, the eye clear scope, since 2015, and it became quite apparent almost uh, straight away that. Uh, some people are going to find it difficult to use the endoscope because it does require a lot of what we call bilateral integration, um, synchrony between your left and right hand. And that's because um, with an endoscope, we're not using a speculum, which is something an audiologist uh, and most ear professionals have always used. And what a speculum is, for anyone who doesn't know, it's a hollow funnel, um, plastic or even metal object, which we insert the narrow end into the ear canal and we peer through the the opposite end the wider end of the funnel uh, that's normally attached to an otoscope which is an ear torch or if you're using micro suction with a microscope or head loops to perform my uh, um, ear wax removal you peer through the, the funnel with uh, as i said the microscope or the head loops um, but with an endoscope, it's not designed to be used with a, uh, with a speculum per se. Um, and that's one of the advantages of it, because without the speculum, we got an amazing field of view. The endoscope lenses within the ear as well. So it's unviraled in terms of optics, but it's more difficult to use because you're having to use the endoscope, which is held in your non-dominant hand to straighten and widen the ear canal to remove the wax and to view the ear wax at the same time. 
And if you're not able to straighten and widen the ear canal using the endoscope, you won't actually get the instrument in the ear. Um, so for anyone that, uh, anyone asks me what's the best method, uh, I will still say the eye clear scope over the wax scope without a shadow of a doubt. But because I said a lot of people struggle to use it, uh, what do they, these people do? They, they use other devices then to view inside the ear, which um, are limited for many, many reasons. And it's always been an ambition of mine to develop the wax scope, which is technically not an endoscope. It's a wax um, exoscope. So there's an, an endoscope is when the image is, of the ear is uh, viewed by a lens or a camera that's within the cavity of the body. Um, so like an endoscope, the, the endoscope, it goes, enters the ear and that's how we view. So I'll come back to that in a moment. So this is the patient's right eardrum. We're going to get that in focus. You can see it's really, really clear. You can see all the blood vessels there. Nice and healthy ear. We're just going to go to the left ear. So with the, uh, the wax scope, the, there's nothing apart from the speculum in the ear. So it's similar to a microscope in that sense, or some head loops. So we kind of call that uh, an exoscope or an otoscope, if you like, but I would say it's more of an exoscope. Um, and you've got the speculum attached, so the, the audiologist specialist, this is attached to the, to the wax scope itself, and that helps to stretch and widen the ear canal and to view the wax. And because of the speculum, it's a bit more, it's easier, it's more user-friendly, should I say. Um, and the view, you can see, it's not like the eye clear scope, where you, you can't compete with the eye clear scope, as I mentioned, but it's a fantastic view. I put it on par with an with a, uh, operating microscope in terms of wax removal. Um, so it's developed to be uh, an accompaniment or the next best alternative um, to the eye clear scope. I, I'm, I'm using the wax scope many, many times now a day. I also find it's great with children, paediatrics, or patients who are not able to remain as still as you'd like. So the speculum helps to stabilize the ear whilst performing the procedure. So it has great advantages and we're getting some great feedback from people who have um, visited the clinic uh, and also specialists who, uh, who are invited uh, as part of the focus group uh, during its development. Um, so just gonna clear some wax here, you can see it's just, just lateral, it's not really blocking the ear, but we, we, it's, it's on the cartilaginous portion, just past the first bend, you can see all these hairs, this is the first bend, and I'm now good. This, this ear is a bit narrower actually, a bit more bendy, so I'm going to go in, I'm going to put the speculum in, you can see a bit of keratin on the left hand side, I'm going to leave that, going to stretch the ear wide open, straighten it, going to get the eardrum in focus now, we can see all the blood vessels supplying the hammer bone. Uh, that's all the wax we removed from both ears. You can see it's a tremendous amount. The patient was over the moon. Um, you can see just how dark it was as well, so it's been oxidized. This is the um, olive oil ear spray that I use. Um, uh, if, you, if you're a specialist and you want to purchase it, visit our website, www.clearwax.co.uk. Select sign in, register as a professional, which gives you access to our trade shop and trade prices. But also we sell it to the members of the public as well visit our website www.clearwax.co.uk. We only ship to the UK um, and you can use the drops on a regular basis to help to try and soften wax and remove it. If that's unsuccessful, of course, you need to see a specialist. And again, if you are interested in the wax coat, please feel free to email info at clearwax.co.uk and we should add you to our mailing list. Thank you. Bye.